Hey guys, welcome to Raw Customs. I'm your host, Patrick Rapolo, and on this episode, we're going to be putting together a laser visor. So, of course, I do have a kit as well as some templates. If you're interested in either one of those, you can head down to the description area below. You'll find some links there. Now, I have made one of these in the past, but I went back and redesigned some of it, made the parts fit together better, as well as adding some detail lines. And one of the other things I did is add some extra parts to this. So, I've went ahead and came up with a variety of extra pieces and parts, give you some options to customize it to make it a little bit more you. A few of the pieces would be like this side piece that goes in the visor. You have a couple of those. You could actually shorten this or extend it as well as even use the piece in different places on the visor. You know, it's just up to you to the way your imagination works and the way you see the pieces come together. I've also added a side piece which you could put on the side or not use it at all. I've also designed several different pieces for the ear section here like this is uh, got a next like the inserts that would go inside here so you could actually use either one of those or even in combination with each other. I've also got a totally different type of area and with all these pieces you could actually have it inserted or recessed like this piece or actually stack them up so that it actually protrudes out a little bit. The idea behind this is just to give you more pieces and give you more options so that you have the ability to customize it just a little bit more to fit your costume. Okay guys, so if you like the idea of the extra parts and making something a little bit more modular, go ahead and let me know and I'll try to do more builds like this in the future. But for now, let's get to the video and see how to put this thing together. For this build you'll need the kit or the templates. For the templates you'll need one sheet of 5mm EVA foam 12 by 18 inch sheet, contact cement, plasti dip, spray paint, a heat gun, a rotary tool, razor knife, and a transparent piece of plastic for the lens. The kit comes with a lens and all your foam pieces cut out as well as some extra pieces to help you customize your visor. Start with the main body of the visor and make a half bevel on the top edge from where the circle starts on each side and to the bottom edge on both sides. A half bevel is a bevel half the thickness of the foam around a 45 degree angle. On the inside edge at the bottom, you just want to knock off the top corner. Next, grab the nose guard piece. Use your rotary tool to knock off the top corner on each outside edge. Make a half bevel on the bottom edge and round over the center curved top edge. You have four rings the same size. Apply glue to the top surface area of each ring. For glue, I recommend using contact cement. Allow the glue time to set up. Once the shine is gone from the glue, your pieces are ready to put together. On average, this takes around five minutes, but the time it takes the glue to set up and be ready will change with temperature. Once the glue set, you can press your rings together You'll want to focus on keeping the outside edges of the two pieces flush. Once your rings are glued together, you can use your rotary tool to round over the top outside edge. On mine, I rounded over the edge down to the seam where the two circles are glued together. Next, line up your rings on each end of the main body of the visor. You'll want to make the outside edges flush, then trace along the inside edge of the ring to make a reference mark for glue. Apply glue to the top surface area of the visor inside your reference lines and to the bottom surface area of the ring. Allow the glue to set up and then press your pieces together. 
keeping the outside edges flush. Now at the bottom of the visor, apply glue to the inside edge on both sides. And on the nose guard, apply glue to the outside edge on both sides. I recommend applying two coats of glue on all edges. On the nose guard, the half circle cutout will face down. Once the glue set, line up your edges on one side and press your pieces together. You will need to bow the main body of the visor to glue the second side in place. Next, grab your bottom piece. At the top, you'll find a reference mark in the center. You also have a center mark at the bottom of the visor at the top of the nose area. These marks are to help you line your pieces up. On the visor, apply glue to the inside surface area along the bottom edge. On the bottom piece, apply glue to the outside edge. Glue your pieces together starting in the center. Line up your reference marks and press the pieces together. Work your way from the center out to the edge one side at a time. You'll need to roll and bend the bottom piece to match the bottom edge of the visor. And the goal is to keep the bottom edges flush. Work your way out to the corner on each side. From the corner, you'll want to pull the side of the visor in to the bottom piece. Then bend the bottom piece to match the curve on the side of the visor. Now apply glue to the inside surface area of the visor along the edge all the way around the remaining area. Next grab the top piece that is shaped like a U. At the top you'll notice it has a reference mark in the center. Apply glue to the outside edge starting around an inch and a half from the back edge on both sides. At the front of the visor, you have detail lines that come to a point in the center. Use these as a reference mark to line up the center point on the top piece. Line up your center marks and glue your two pieces together, keeping your top edges flush. Work your way from the center to the start of the bend on each side, gluing down the front edge. it's important to try and keep your U-shape ends straight. So you want to push in the side of the visor to match the U-shape as you glue your pieces together. Once you get to the ear section, you'll have to bend the top piece to match the curve around the ear. Since the top piece is thin, this is actually pretty easy to do. Once you've worked your way around to the bottom, you'll have around an inch overlapping the bottom piece.
where the top section overlaps the bottom piece. You'll want to cut off the extra so that you can join the two ends. You'll want to trace a reference mark along the bottom edge. Then you can use a razor or a pair of scissors to cut off the extra. Once your ends are cut, apply glue to the edges and the remaining areas, allow the glue to set, and then glue everything in place. Next, grab the two pieces for the top and bottom of the lens area. You have a center mark at the top of each piece. On the visor, you'll use the points from the detail lines to help you line these pieces up. On the strips, apply glue to the front edge. On the visor, apply glue to the inside surface area along the edge of the eye opening. Glue the piece in place starting in the center and working your way out to each edge. At this point, you'll want to figure out how you want to customize your visor. You have two choices for inserts for the side of the visor. A long one with details on the side and then a short blank one. Once you've made your decision on what you're going to use, place the insert in place and then make reference marks for glue. Apply your glue to the pieces to the areas that are going to make contact with each other. Once the glue is set, you can press your pieces in place. On the side inserts, I recommend making them flush with the back edge of the visor strips. Doing it this way will allow the lens to sit flat against them. You have several pieces for the ear sections that can be used in different combinations. You have a large circle that can be placed on the inside behind the cutouts on the side. You also have a pair of circles with an X on them as well as a couple of cut out X's. You also have some triangles that fit in the X area. You can use this piece as a standalone piece or in conjunction with the X. You also have a pair of circles with a line and two dots. 
and some pieces that match the reference lines that are marked in them. You can make your sections inset or stack the circles together to give you more of a flushed look. You also have a piece that's designed to go on the side. You also have a piece that's designed to go on the side if you would like to add that as well. Since I'm adding them to this visor, I went ahead and rounded over all the outside edges. Next, you'll want to line it up in place where you want it to set and then trace reference lines to mark for glue. Once you're happy with how your piece is going to set, go ahead and apply your glue to both pieces, allow it to set up, and then glue everything in place. On the side ear insert, I decided to go with the X and I went ahead and rounded over the outside edge. At this point, you could go ahead and glue this into your visor, but I'm going to hold off because I want to paint this separately from the visor. With everything glued together, you can use a rotary tool to clean up all your seams and edges. Next, use a heat gun to heat your piece on the inside and out. This will heat seal the foam and allow you to kind of close it down and form it. To prep for paint, I taped down the ear inserts and hot glued the visor to a popsicle stick to hold it in place. To seal the foam, I do recommend using Plasti Dip. I like to use two light coats followed by two heavy coats. Once the Plasti Dip's dry, you can spray on your base coat of spray paint. I like to use two light coats followed by one to two heavy coats. And if you watch my channel, you know I like to use my airbrush for all the detail paint. However, it's definitely not necessary. You can use paint brushes, paint pens, a sponge brush, whatever works for you to put in the details that you want to see on your piece. For the ear insert, I'm just going to use some super glue to hold it in place. I applied it to the back side and then used some foam to spread it out evenly. And then it's just a matter of gluing it into place. Check your lens, it may have a protective film on it. Place some tape on the corner of your piece and see if the film peels off. Line up the lens on the inside of the visor and make reference marks for any place that needs to be trimmed. You can use a razor knife or scissors to trim your lens to fit. You can use hot glue or super glue to hold your lens in place. Here I'm using super glue. Start by applying it right in the center, top and bottom. 
Then press your lens in place and hold it until the glue dries. Once the glue set in the center, you can fill up each end one at a time and then glue them down in place. 